In this lecture, let's learn about conditional rendering using element variables. So first of all, let's understand what exactly is element variable and why it is required. So what is an element variable? An element variable is nothing but it's simply a variable in which you could store some JSX elements. So let's go ahead and learn why exactly it is required. So right now, if you take a look at our code here, as you can see, there are multiple written statements, or I should say two written statements in our code. And this is not required. This is not a good practice. Uh, and it's not a good standard to have two return statements inside our code. And in order to eliminate use of multiple return statements, we make use of the element variable. So let's go ahead and create an element variable here. And creating an element variable is quite simple. You say let, uh, let's declare it with let and let's name this element variable as output. And for now, let's leave it as it is. And now what I am going to do is that I'm going to make use of this if else conditional over here and decide if the display state is set to true or false. So I would say if display, if this is true, this happens, else this happens. So if display is set to true, what I would like to do is that I would like to set the output element variable to this is a conditional component. So here I would simply go ahead and say output equals and let's now equate it to this particular element, which is this div or let's say this specific heading. So I'll cut this from here and paste it up over here. So now this means that if the value of display is set to true, the output element variable will be assigned this JSX value or else if the display is set to false, in this case, we want to set the output variable or output element variable to nothing to see here. So I will see this over here. Now, once this thing is done, I can now get rid of this conditional from here. And now finally, as this is a functional component, I need to return a div here and inside this div now instead of having to have a conditional or something like that i could simply go ahead and add this particular element variable which is output so i'll make use of curly brackets here and simply pass in the value of output over there now as this particular display is set to true i could go here and it says this is a conditional component if i set it to false it says nothing to see here and this was only possible because of using the element variable output right here. So as you can see now, our code no longer has multiple written statements. The code is much cleaner and much more concise. So the element variable approach is nothing but an approach where you create a variable to store some JSX element and render that particular element depending upon a specific condition. So until now, we have learned about two approaches of rendering elements conditionally. However, there's also a third approach, which is called as a ternary conditional approach. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.